Hello, my name is Aziza. I'm a second year medical student at Rowland School of Osteopathic Medicine, and I am going to show you how I use 3D Slicer to make 3D volumes uh, for medical imaging research. So we're going to be using DICOM files today, which are essentially the 3D files that make up CT scans. And these were downloaded from the MIDRC database, which is a national database used for medical imaging research. And all the patient information has been de-identified, just to address any of those concerns. And our first step is to import the DICOM file. Please make note that the DICOM file needs to be extracted. Um, most of them are downloaded in zip format because they're so large. And it needs to be on a local drive, so you cannot um, essentially edit a file that's on the cloud or um, in Google Drive. So start by adding the DICOM data. I'm going to remove an old study that I no longer need. I'm gonna to go to import my file. I have these saved on my external drive. And when I open this, you see there's a bunch of different files, and these are different phases of the CT scan. So I'm going to go back, and I want to open the whole file so I can see every view. So I'm just going to select the folder that's one level up. This does take a while, so I do recommend closing any applications that you don't need. Great, so we have our DICOM file here, and you can see this is a CT angio aorta runoff, which is a study where contrast is essentially used to look at the lower extremities. And this is a great study for us because we need to look at the bilateral lower femurs. You can see there's many different phases in here. So sometimes, especially when they kind of have vague file names like this, you kind of just have to look and see what you have. So let's start by opening the arterial series. Just double clicking. And so what am I going to look for? I want to make sure I have all the body parts I need in this. So I have both the bilateral femurs, I can see as I scroll through. And we have the coronal, the sagittal, and the transverse views, which is great because that's exactly what I need for the modeling. And just so you can see, we are now, we've created a node, which is essentially um, a tree that we're working with throughout this. So now that we have our DICOM file, Let's make a note that we're using the arterial phase. It has everything we need. Um, and our next step is going to be turning this into a volume and using that volume to reconstruct. So um, that is going to be step two. And I'll be right back. 